all of our council is present. Also, we're getting, I think, the audio from the, from the booth, just FYI. Uh, the first item on our agenda, item one, is to review the agenda for tonight's council meeting. Council, uh, I know we just went over this a few days ago, but any, uh, Mr. Brady, any additional staff input on tonight's agenda? We, uh, I believe we covered that all on Thursday, yeah. so. Council, any questions about on our agenda? Yes, Councilmember Duff. Um, yes, I would like to remove 6A from the consent agenda. 6A. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, Mr. Christopher, you got that? 6A is... Speed limits of 45 miles an hour on Williams Field Road, correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, Council, I'll note that right now, agenda item 7A, having to do with the hotel, is on the consent agenda. Is that where we want to leave it? I think there are going to be people upstairs that want it removed, so we might as well remove yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. So, Mr. Christopher, we're anticipating there'll be people upstairs to take that off. So, 6A and 6, I'm sorry, 6A and 7A are likely, are, are going to be off of the consent agenda. Anything else? Mayor, 6D, I'm going to leave on consent. This is an uh, introduction, but I'm going to ask for it to be, <coughs> excuse me, removed for a final vote in when the next meets. Okay, so stay on today, and then next meeting you'll Correct. take it it's off. it's just an in intro today. Okay. All right. Council, anything else about today's meeting upstairs? No, it's... All right. Well, this could be a rather short meeting down here then. Uh, next item on our agenda for this meeting is uh, item two, current events and conferences attended. Council, I know you've been busy the last few days. Who would like to, uh, Ms. Spilsbury? Yeah, so last Thursday night we had um, our big meeting at Canal on Baseline and I just wanted to bring it up so that I could thank all of the staff um, from the city so many came out to help that neighborhood understand the situation and what's going on. And I especially want to thank Candace because she did so good at explaining all of the complications of the situation. And I really felt like at the end of the night, the neighborhood <coughs> understood better about um, the, what's going on at the state level and the city level and things we're doing moving forward. So thank you to everyone that came to that and, and helped that situation. It's a rough one. Um, and then on Saturday, um, I, I think most of us got to participate in GAIN, so I wanted to give a shout out to Commander Tim Walker and J.R. Gomez, who drove my husband and around to 13 block watch parties that night. So we got through a lot of them, and it was so fun to be out in the community and get to talk to people and answer questions and just see the amazing communities that um, are coming together. I just love it. It's one of my favorite nights of the year. And then my last thing is I wanted to introduce Carrie Aranda, right there, yay, she's waving. She is with Mesa Leadership and she is shadowing me tonight, this afternoon and tonight. So thank you for participating in learning more about what's going on at the city, thanks. Great, thank you. Mr. Summers? So just before Halloween, um, we continued a tradition in District 6, which is a trunk or treat event uh, that is co-sponsored by myself, uh, District 6 representative, Mesa Police Department uh, and Desert Ridge High School as part of Gilbert Public Schools. So it's a wonderful event where it allows a safe place for folks to come in and, and do a little trick-or-treating. So I just wanted to extend my appreciation to Mesa PD, particularly the uh, Superstition uh, uh, precinct, if you will, the as well as the air unit. Motors came out. We had the command van on scene, which was Unfortunately, showing the uh, Diamondbacks in a not-so-successful game, uh, as well as all of the Mesa PD cadets who showed up to help <coughs> pass around the candy throughout. Um, there were several uh, folks who made some generous donation of candy. Uh, Edge Corps in my district, CMC Steel, DPR Construction, Ace Hardware, all donated candy to the event. Borrows Pizza, thank you very much for the uh, pizza that was... Uh, that fed the crews who were on scene, the police officers who were there, also to the Classic Car Club and Jeep Club for showing up. So if you have, if you like classic cars next year, you should probably show up and check them out. So there, there were some really spectacular ones. And there were several uh, food truck vendors on scene as well. Uh, 
that hopefully you had a very good night. So thank you to everybody that was involved. Great. Thank you. Council Member Duff, you want to talk about the barbecue events, don't you? Don't you? <clears throat> yes, both. Go for it. I'll, I'll back you up on one. Okay, okay. We had a couple of big events in downtown Mesa um, last week. On Thursday, we opened the post, which is the historic post office. It's been refurbished and now is a community event space. It's absolutely beautiful, and many of the his historic materials and uh, um, architecture is has remained and it's just absolutely gorgeous you want to hold an event there so you just can spend hours there and so the next day i did because in downtown mesa you had the um, barbecue classic and craft Fef festival in downtown mesa and we used that space for the judges um, to taste barbecue and judge them and we had the award ceremony there on a Saturday afternoon. This is a national competition. We had judges from across the country. We had barbecue competitors who paid, I, think, I don't know, it's, it's a little bit of money to enter the competition and there was cash awards as well. And I hope we will be seeing this competition again. It also included other crafts like arts crafts and um, other things. See, there was a community choice award. And I just said that and I'm like, now I'm kind of, I forgot who it is. Anyway, so we did have local barbecue um, vendors there for, uh, for tastings, but in the competi competition, they weren't available to the, the residents or, you know, visiting. They were going back. And they will make like six, seven pieces, of slabs of meat to get the perfect pieces to present in a platter to the judges, which is six pieces. So you, um, they, were, they were making barbecue for two days in order to get ready for Saturday afternoon and the big um, commencement of all the four different meets. So um, that was a big event for downtown Mesa. And of course, game night was that night. Um, thank you to Community Action Officer Chad Sertian for driving me around. And there was a great party in Duke Manor. They had a band and everything. So the great parties out there, and, and I appreciate our residents gathering together for game night. And then I planted trees on Saturday morning with the Mayor's Youth Committee at uh, G. Daughtry Park <coughs> in um, commemoration of our uh, veterans. And uh, we learned a lot about trees and how to plant them and um, about the service of our veterans. So great, fun weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I was just going to yeah. underline uh, downtown Mesa. It, having the post online really, I mean, you, you, I didn't miss it before it was open. But now that it's open, I mean, really, that the barbecue event and the other events, it really is nice to have the, the post available to be part of the staging area for that and and I don't remember May, downtown Mesa being as vibrant as it was uh, this weekend uh, it, had, where it seems all, all of the, the cylinders were were uh, you know clicking uh, this weekend so that was a lot of fun to see at both the barbecue event and at the ribbon cutting so thank you for everyone everyone who played a great role in, in those events I just want to mention that I went to a grand opening for a new restaurant in my district, District 5, called Pizza Cotta, and it was fantastic. Try it. I think it officially opened today. A, a couple, husband and wife, from who immigrated here from Italy, um, and they're the chef and owners, and so it was fantastic. And, and then I also went to the Falcon Field cockpit close-up on Saturday morning, which they do. Um, I think the first Saturday of every month, and that was fantastic. They had the um, Civil Air Patrol Squadron 305 out there, so thank you to them. And their airplane um, was there, and everybody was having a great time. They were, I, I talked to n several people that came from other parts of the valley to come and um, watch the planes take off and look at, crawl through the Cessna. So that was a great event, and that happens each month. So, And then, of course, Gain, I want to say thank you to Commander Rash. Uh, for driving Antonia and I around uh, all night, and that was great. We met a lot of different new constituents that I hadn't met before and saw some communities I hadn't been in before, and so that was fantastic. So thank you. Thank you. 
I'll, I'll mention one other event. Um, Saturday night, our Mesa Channel 11 crew was honored at the, uh, they, were, they won a, an Emmy Award at the, uh, the Rocky Mountain uh, Emmy Awards that night for uh, the broadcast of last year's State of the City. Uh, so uh, my personal thanks to them for, I think we all know that the production value of that show was really amazing and, and so no surprise at all that they won a regional Emmy Award for that. So congratulations to Lily and Rihanna and Brittany and Glenn for uh, making that such a, such a high <clears throat> quality production and uh, they very well, very much deserve that, that award. Clap. Yes, we should. Council? It is a big deal. Mm -hmm. Council, any, any other, anything else we ought to talk about? Here. Yes. I'm sorry, Mr. Freeman. No, you're fine. You want to clap for this too, Julie? I don't know. What is it? No, we went through. <laughs> <laughs> we had, uh, we went to 12 game parties in oh. District 1, and they were really awesome. We spent a little bit longer than one we should because they had excellent food. <laughs> I mean, they all have food, but, you know, go to these game parties and be part of the neighborhood ambiance is just fantastic, and so reaching out to them was, was fun. And Emerson. Yeah. The pizza. Mm -hmm. I was jealous of that. <laughs> Uh, my community action officers, uh, Elsie Kime and, and Jeff Herberger, our detectives, are awesome. They showed me a lot in our, in our community. But also today, at the mix, uh, Mountain View High School uh, Changemaker class, they came in to, here at the mix to talk about the Mesa General Plan update. So Mr. Robbins and his team were here, and they are the future of Mesa, and they are the second group in the whole nation to come and talk about a general plan. So we're looking at their future and their vision, and I think some of the other high schools are doing that as well. So it was, it was great to see them come in into an interactive room and have the whole scope of it just uh, around in, in the arena they were, and it was, it was fun to see. So look forward to more from them. Thank you. Great. Yeah, I, th I think there are some other high schools coming next week for that, right? They're all this week. Okay, yeah, Mary, tell us, tell us a little bit about this and, and how we're engaging uh, the community, but particularly the high school students. So um, the sessions will all be this week, and I think that all of your council assistants have the schedules for it because we've got uh, schools from each of the districts that will be participating. Um, there are uh, groups of from usually from the STEAM type of uh, curriculum coming in, and what we've done is we've given them the criteria kind of of what the different future land uses would be in the general plan, densities, heights, those types of things, okay. so that the group at ASU has taken that and created this virtual world for them in this room to see what that general plan would look like in a 3D type of experience. So it would encourage all of you, if you get a chance, to go to one of those sessions. Yeah. They're all this week. Great. Thank you. All right, Council, if there's nothing else, Mr. Brady, what does our schedule of future meetings look like? Thank you, Mayor. And let me just, uh, speaking of the post, I mean, great buildings are wonderful, but I thought the stories of the postmaster and having his granddaughters there was just really, really special. And I don't know if everybody saw it, I didn't see it to the end, that they had donated his chair. Mm -hmm. And then there's a photo of the daughters with their dad. They're, so it'd be the parents, Helen, who was there mm -hmm. in the photo. So it's kind of, mm -hmm. oh, I thought that was, that really added a nice touch to all the physical improvements of the building to have that human story to it. Um, so next study session will be Thursday, November 9th uh, at 7.30 a.m. And we're excited um, to kick off the first art in the park, which will be at Whitman Park. Uh, at 1700 North Grand this Thursday, November 9th from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Art in the Park encourages residents to leave their mark on the city's history by collaborating with a local artist to create a work of art for the new city hall. Uh, the event is a free interactive experience that brings art, crafts, and music to our neighborhoods and we'll be going throughout the rest of the city. Um, so I think this is our very first one. So very excited about that. And just a reminder, Saturday, November 11th, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. is the East Valley Veterans Parade in downtown Mesa. Thank you. Great. Thank you. That concludes our agenda. Is there a motion to adjourn this meeting? Thank you, Mr. Summers and Mr. Freeman. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Thank you. We are adjourned, and we will reconvene in 15 minutes upstairs.